Now, we like to work in the UK. We have low unemployment, high levels of employment, and we put in lots of hours. The trouble is that when we're at work, we are terribly unproductive. We produce less per hour than our main economic rivals. The difference is pretty dramatic. We, on average, produce about 30% less per hour than workers in Germany, the US and France. Well, to talk about this a little more is Anne Frank, Chief Executive of the Chartered Management Institute. Anne, um, why is it that we are so much less productive than our main economic rivals? Well, it's interesting. Most people, when they think about productivity, think about investment in infrastructure or technology. But the truth is, the biggest factor in productivity is people. And the reason for the productivity gap in Britain is really down to um, uh, the need for better leadership and management. That accounts for about half the productivity gap, according to experts. Okay, so is that the way, is that the key that, to improvement? Well, it is. If you think about it, you know, Britain's a service economy. Just think about your daily experiences. If you go to a restaurant and nobody seats you or the service is bad or they get your order wrong or, you know, you're li less likely to eat at that restaurant. And this is where the people factor comes in. It's about managing those people well and getting the best out of them. That really does boost productivity. Could it be that we're working too many hours and so therefore by, on average, we are less productive? Well, that's part of it, and we have the always-on culture with emails, etc., at all hours of the day and night, and that contributes to this. But fundamentally, it is about people at work being better bosses, being better line managers, and these are skills that we can learn. And actually, although you hear a lot about investing in technology and technical skills, I think the government's apprenticeship program must also address investment in management and leadership skills. Okay, what can individual workers do then to be more productive at work? Well, there are five very simple behaviors that all workers would like to see from their line managers. The first is uh, that, that line managers share their thinking, so are open and transparent and build trust. This is probably the most important thing. Uh, the second thing is that actually uh, bosses admit mistakes when they've made them and fess up. Uh, the third thing is encouraging workers to input, to share problems and solutions. And lastly, also, live the values. Don't just have the values on the wall. Behave in a way that actually puts the human aspect into everyday behaviors at work. What about better wages? Does that help? I mean, surely that's sort of going to incentivize people to work a bit harder. Well, you know, it's funny. People always say better wages, but if you give people a choice between having more autonomy and more respect at work and getting more money, most people will choose to have more autonomy, more respect than they will to have more money. And I... that's the importance of it. Okay, Anne. Thanks very much. Anne Frank there. Well, that's it for me. In